You can record your sales of inventory products by selecting the Create menu and then choosing either Invoice or Sales Receipt. If you're telling a customer how much money they owe and giving them a due date on when they need to pay that amount, choose an invoice. But if a customer is paying you for everything right away, like in a retail location, choose sales receipt. The actual recording of the sale is identical between these two different transactions, but we're gonna use a sales receipt right now. When entering a sales receipt, you don't have to record a customer, but if you wanna be able to track your sales by customer later on, it's important for you to choose one here. We're selling some lawnmowers to one of our customers named Trevor Matheson. If you filled out the information about your customer ahead of time on the customers list, QuickBooks automatically fills out that information on the sales form for you. Right here, we'll also choose how it is that Trevor is paying us for these lawnmowers. And Trevor is going to pay us by debit card. And the money is going into undeposited funds so that we can deposit it later on together with other customer payments. If the money is going directly into your checking account, though, you should choose that instead. Also, with QuickBooks Online, you can choose to accept payments in QuickBooks, and QuickBooks can actually process debit card and credit card payments for you, depositing the money directly into your checking account. In the products and services area, let's tell QuickBooks what Trevor is buying. Trevor is buying a new lawnmower, and here we can see the SKU for the item, as well as the sales description, which comes from the entry for the inventory item on your products and services list. Then we have the quantity being sold, as well as the rate and the total amount. You can change any of these values if you need to. Note that QuickBooks does remind you how much of your inventory you have on hand and what your reorder point is right here in the quantity field. This inventory item is also taxable, so we are collecting some sales tax on this particular sale. Scrolling down, here you can enter a message displayed on sales receipt, memo, any attachments that you'd like to attach onto the transaction, as well as a breakdown of everything that's going into this sale, including sales tax and potentially also any discounts that you want to apply. You can print out this sales receipt by clicking on print or preview, and here QuickBooks displays your various printing options. And then down at the bottom right, you can choose between the different save options as well. We're gonna save and send this sales receipt, so that way Trevor will have an emailed copy of the sales receipt. Here is the subject, and body of the email that will be sent to Trevor, as well as a preview of the sales receipt PDF over on the right-hand side. Now let's send and close, and that records our sale of inventory to Trevor. If you use invoices instead of sales receipts to record your sales, the process is identical.